Back on this site, I'm going to show you some more sources to use. Right now, I'm going to show you the source Encyclopedia Romana. You're going to find this very helpful in searching for sources. Let's click on it. For this example, I'm going to use Numa Pompilius as my search model. I'm going to show you how I can search on a page. In the URL box, I'm going to type in Numa Pompilius. Pay attention to what happens at the bottom of the screen once I finish typing. Notice it gives me the number of times that that name or phrase pops up on the screen and there are up and down, bar uh, up and down arrows that I can bounce between to see each mention. I'm going to zoom in a bit. There are three links next to my subject. I chose the first, the calendar. So again, I spend some time scrolling around this page. I can see in the second paragraph already there's a mention of Numa Pompilius. And as I read it, I find out he is the person who divided the year into 12 months. I also see that he's mentioned in Livy Book 1, Chapter 19, a primary source I can refer to later in my research. So it's a good idea for me to bookmark this page. But I'm going to look at those other articles too, see what they have to share. I go back to the page that had the article. I see there are two more links, one to a portrait and one to something called Regia. I want to look at both. Here's the portrait. There's a picture of Numa Pompilius, and when I read around on this page, I see, his, see that his name is mentioned over and over. This also will be another helpful source for me. So I'll bookmark this page and go back to the page with the three links. And check out that link that says Regia. What's Regia? Huh. It's thought to have been the residence of early kings, beginning with the second, Numa Pompilius. Here's his house. More information about him, information I can use in my project. I'll bookmark this page too. Now I just looked at three separate articles. Even though they're housed by the same online library, each one is a separate article. When I get to citing them, I need to cite each article separately. You'll learn more about the citation in a later lesson.